In what way can sustainable strategies drive long-term value and competitive advantage? You know, in the past, really, almost everybody relied on, this, relied on this sort of initiative by initiative thing. So let's go find something to do that's really cool and saves a lot of money. Saves a lot of money being the number one part of that. Uh, or something that's sustainable, like a, a recycling program or something. And we're gonna put all of our effort toward that and we're going to do a really good job of it. And then we're gonna tell everybody that cares about us and our employees about it. And then we're going to reap the financial rewards of doing that. Where I see that the talent and the real leadership uh, expertise comes is when the leader communicates those things with stakeholders, funds it early, not funding what's gonna happen later, but sets the expectations with the board of directors and others, and other, uh, the CFO and others in the company, that this is going to be something that sometimes is great and we have the party and we turned on the solar array, and other times it's investing in a system in a new uh, development in another country that actually cost uh, quite a bit more, but in the long term made us a more sustainable company, which made us a more uh, valuable company. But overall, how are companies doing, not just in terms of setting targets, but actually meeting some of those goals? We're in this real, I call this this sort of real contradictory state right now. I think companies are starting to understand, and their leadership are starting to understand that this is a real issue and they need to address it but they haven't yet started the journey. So that's on the macro scale. I think on the micro scale, you take companies like Schneider who are members of our organization and all our members at WVCSD, we evaluate them, we help them understand where they're seen in the marketplace on these cross issues, whether it's a net zero agenda, the nature agenda, which is arriving on the scene, or the social agenda, which is a little bit of a laggard right now in terms of how we're assessing that and then the degree to which they're being transparent on those issues. And we help them understand how they're, they're currently positioned and will then uh, give them some guidance on getting there. So it's a, it's a mixed record at the moment, but I think we see the momentum in the business sector. And back to Amir's point, you know, when companies like Schneider ask their supply chain, not we'll help you, but we want you, we demand you to do these things, I think you're going to start to see a title shift in terms of how companies step up to the plate on these issues. To find out more, visit NBC Universal Catalyst's Facebook and YouTube channels.